I just saw a pattern like that uh, in celestial influences, period. Did I say that in the beginning? Mm -mm. Theory of Celestial Influences, I was reading down in the forties today. It's an old book, and it was a theosophist. Uh, it, it, um, and he was doing, he was taking uh, the, the, the circle of nine and, and putting planets on it, and he was putting, um, uh, he was doing all sorts of macrocosmic overlays on that same thing. Okay, Charlie, we're going to start with you. Microcosmic overlays, that's exactly what we were just doing yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. He was doing that too. But, but nobody have, does it with the decimal system. It, he didn't have it connected the same way as you. Nobody has it connected to numbers. That's he the had, trick. Had, Bringing numbers had, and geometry like and surface topology and particle physics and spirit and biologics, everything together in computers. Now, who would, let's start with the remaining time we have. Can, can we interview each person? We don't have much time, but two minutes. I should have given you guys a long time ago. But how much, let's see, any comments that everybody has on this that you want to, I guess, take the camera off me, and we'll start with uh, somebody. Okay, any volunteers? Hmm? Give comments on what you understand or what you've seen, or how, just so that anything you want to say, I guess, to your relatives back in <coughs> on Alpha Sanctuary, you know, we're going to blast everybody. <laughs> Only on Twitter. Long strange trip. Charlie said, What? Long, Get with Charlie. What a long, strange trip it's been. Yeah, what a long, strange trip it's uh, been. It's going to take a while. For me to assimilate everything, that, but surely really intriguing. Mind-blowing. Very yeah. exciting. Very mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's this has so much richness to it. It's really profound. You know, hey, you know your comments, because they're not to me, they're to the people who are going to be in the, I'll say in the acetate world of the film. I'll say something about it. Uh, the kids I teach every day have to be subjected to the technology of math, which is so boring, and I have to teach yeah. it. And I, and I can try to make it interesting, and to some, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the real interesting math that I've taught this year has been in dynamical systems, fractals, chaos, because it's so philosophically relevant to them, and that's what they want. And this has that same kind of richness mm -hmm. that they don't get in mathematics in, in the high schools, because we're we have a mathematics that's driven by science and technology that is an established um, magic, so to speak, of, from the 16th to the 20th century. And this sort of stuff uh, is usually taught to college mathematics majors. Kind of stuff like this uh, would be taught to college math majors, but they would have to do it in a way that even makes that boring. But it's, uh, number theory is very interesting, except it, it isolates itself, usually in the universities. It doesn't ever have any um, connection to real world sorts of things. And this stuff, uh, you can see the layers forming, and like a good metaphor in poetry. It's just all the stuff that is there, and it hangs together in a cohesive whole. It's phenomenal. And you can do it at different levels with different kids. And that's why it's rich. That's what I wanted, was to hear a response. Um, I guess. So, are you going to continue with this? Are you going to yeah. pursue it? Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, this could just, this can make someone yeah. that's even just having a bad day feel great. You know? That's kind of it. It is, because when you think about it, it's like everything that you've explained to us gives meaning for our lives, for, for us as individuals, for everything that we see, everything that we do. It just, it all comes back to the cycle, the flow, and and just makes it so real, you know? It's like, I'm just happy that I was here. I mean, we, I was supposed to have a huge party today, and <laughs> it, it got all rained out, and then... <laughs> You know what Lucky I mean? Yeah. So it's like, thank God I was here. <laughs> I told you it was a blessing. You it was. <laughs> Your birthday? Yeah. Oh, happy oh, birthday. Thursday. Oh, oh, Thursday. Thursday. Happy birthday. So, I just think it's, um, it's, it's 
break the grade down. You can't explain it to people. You know, the most the concept of the the flowing that you were showing us. You know, the very basic beginning. And to me, that was the most important thing, just because it just showed how everything is connected, and it proves it. You know what I mean? It just proves it. Yeah, there's no point in warning when you're all connected, is there? You know, when you say I feel somehow innate, innately uh, at home with, even though I don't even pretend to understand the math and the hard part of it, but innately I, I own it as soon as I see it and I see the pattern that um, it just like starts to, to you know, fit in all the right places and um, I believe that we're all born with that goal, that, that drive to to go home with to whatever this knowledge is, to know truly know God, the name of God, the love of God, and to relate that to everything we do. And and that it's out of that gift of from God to us, we have everything. Nothing's been limited. Nothing's been kept from uh, from us in any way. The the whole universe is out there as a gift in every aspect that a human could conceive. I give everybody as a free present these books. They're they're mystical. You, don't, you, know, you can't tell I got the map from it, but they're they're a present. Do other people come to Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're all geniuses. I know lots of them. <laughs> I think that the nice thing about you. About <laughs> and what? I'm going to tell them all about you. You're going to you're going to keep you. a lot of my friends from going crazy trying to figure this out. <laughs> and thank you for figuring this out without going crazy. <laughs> It's not in my blood to go crazy. That was that's my good side. Is that see? I, I don't burn out. I don't I don't ever. I can't have a nervous breakdown. I can't I can't um, <laughs> run out of. That's just the, my thing. Is that you know I make that sound. As me and Charlie were talking about, we're all been doing good. I just you know. So I I wasn't my fear. I didn't have any fear of that. You know what's so strange is that you're telling us about all this and how this is going to finally work when it when the, the when it does uh, the energy in this way gets invented the way it's supposed to happen and eliminates petroleum stuff and all that and you're wondering how you're going to get the money for a whiteboard or whatever and it's just like that just blows my mind that's like you don't have to worry about that because it's all just going to come because you can't contain this now like you you've told too many people it doesn't work that way. No. Yeah, it does. I it told, does. I told it does. people when I was a little kid. Yeah, but it takes time. It takes 25 years to become an overnight success. Oh, yeah. Well, and, it's yeah. all moving at the right speed. It doesn't matter. I mean, it says over and over again in the writings that it's just the will of God that these things shall come to pass and that we don't really have a choice that the kingdom of God is going to be created whether we want it or not, individually. And this will be used because it's in harmony with the vibration of the Lord. So, thank you. <laughs> and, and this Don't point, worry, your work won't be and, wasted at all. This is the foundation for, you know, building the whole new society. And he gave us the key, which is nine. It's vanished. If you think about all the billions of people that live by an oil lantern, how many whales were boiled mm -hmm. to light people's <laughs> rooms? it can easily vanish again. It really takes an incredible amount of effort to keep it alive. Don't you think this kind of stuff has been done before? Or, you know, like, um, I mean, as you talk about the concept of circle, don't you think um, that... Simba did it in The Lion King. <laughs> I mean, you know, the, somebody in the past must have done something similar to this nature and it got... Not even similar, they did it. Yeah, it got vanished and then... I'm just, I'm just picking up the clues at the scene of the crime. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm doing. Mm -hmm. 
but at least you know the great thing about your work is at least you are seeing the up to until now you know the mysticism was like totally detached you know from ordinary masses you know yeah. but now you are combining those two things together you know right. and making it known to people you know which is you know really grounding like i whispered to you earlier and i said you're making us feel like we're smart. Well, just in this uh, day and age, there's a growing movement that people can see to interweave science and spirituality. And it's due to the fact that, due to the duality, there's... Um, in this gap, uh, ecological, sociological crises that um, have escalated because of um, the, you know, m misguided calendar, the misguided, you know, mathematical, numerological, astrological systems, and so what this is focalizing is, especially because the Baha'i faith is a faith that uh, is, you know, not a particular faith; it's a whole faith. It's something that incorporates the teachings of all the religions. So what this uh, that you're sharing today is doing is very clearly and concisely bridging that gap and in that fulcrum point which is you know where the nine is is the energy that you're asking us to here's here's this gift go and take this and apply this in whatever ever way you can whatever way God calls you to share this with because it's basically the science of the the holy name and it comes through in all of creation and you're giving us the formula for what we already know what already exists so that we can you know take the seed and sow it um. the real objective is so that when we get to the next kingdom, and the high of the outcomes of the spiritual world, world, that you will be able to function. Um, you know, you understand how powerful and important the Holy Name of God is. You've said that yourself. And um, you've invoked it many times. And um, 